49ers have pretty much sat for, for three weeks. They came out kind of slow. Um, Packers are riding, you know, coming off that big win against Dallas. It's raining on top of that. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing is, like, you you let a quarterback who's young um, and they sit like that, and Purdy just – I'm gonna be honest. He just didn't look good. Yeah, I, I I heard something or read something where he he's not he doesn't like playing. And I mean, what quarterback loves playing in the right. rain? But he 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 struggled the entire first half. Where, he did. Um, I, I truly deep down believe Kyle Shanahan. That's not the quarterback he wants for the future. It's tough uh, because he said he says the right things because he's always yeah. like, "This is our quarterback. This is yeah. who we want." Yeah. And honestly, I think that. Purdy does enough for what Kyle Shanahan can do with him Mm -hmm. at his salary where they don't, they can ride him with that rookie contract. Yeah. You know, where he's only making, you know, five, six hundred thousand dollars and they can give that money to all these other players. Mm -hmm. And Purdy, I mean, Purdy does within that system and he can do what Kyle Shanahan wants him to do. They can obviously succeed. Yeah. It's just like, all right, when, when he's having a bad game, when he's having a game like he did against the Ravens when he throws three picks and, you know, when he's having a game like this where, you know, he's he's missing throws and almost throwing picks. Uh, I mean, they got real lucky. It, it almost looked like Dallas, it was the same player that uh, Dak threw the pick six again. I mean, he had a wide open interception and just dropped it. It would yeah. have been a clear pick six too. <clears throat> and I think obviously their game plan changed when Debo went out because he right. went out pretty early. Yeah. And he loves throwing like the short passes. Yeah. Um, to Debo because Debo has the ability to dink and you know to make players miss, and then you kind of have to switch it up and start doing more, you know, down the field throws like you love. Uh, it clearly just wasn't comfortable for him. Yeah, and he's been the, the thing is is like he's been pretty good this year. Everyone uh, you know said that he was just a check down king, which he was his first year. That was kind of how they built him. But then this year he has, like, pressed the ball down the field a lot yeah. more. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of built off of hitting short, hitting short, and then, bam, hit yeah. you long. And whenever you can't do that, it's like, all right, you know, if you can't hit the short ones, we we can definitely just sit back on the long ones. Yeah. Um, but, they, like I said, they figured it out. Um, it's just two that, – that was just two head coaches that know each other well. Yeah. Too. And Jordan Love, I mean, he, he played dang near like he did last week. But yeah. the – the interception at the end was uh, that was that was bad. Yeah, and that's again that's one of those you're down, you're you're running out of time, you're trying to press the ball. The defense knows it. It's it's very rare that you can make those type of drives. Yeah, and that's why they they always point to the the quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes and stuff that can do it is because they're elite. It's it's tough to do. Yeah, the defense knows exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to do a little bit too much. Mm-hmm. And, and that's just kind of what happens. Yeah. Was, I, I think if anything, throughout this playoff run, the Packers fans should be extremely excited about their future. Oh yeah. because I mean, they're the youngest team in the league. The young, youngest team to ever win a playoff game, youngest team in the league. And, I mean, they were, you know, a few minutes away from winning that game and being in the NFC Championship yeah. game. I was very worried about the, the 49ers there because, I mean, it, it wasn't looking good because, I mean, they couldn't really get anything going on offense and then – yeah, I just don't, and it, and it's something that I noticed all weekend. Like a, a flip gets switched, yeah. And it's like they turn it on and they can they can move the ball. Yeah, that, I mean that's and that's what the good teams do. Is like all right, they're the Forty ers defense was giving them ju- same thing with the, the Ravens. They were mm-hmm. giving them just enough to hang in there and figure yeah. it out. Mm-hmm. And unlike the Ravens, the Forty ers took until like the last few minutes of the game to figure it out. Yeah. But the thing is, that's what the great teams do. They they figure it out at, in the moments that they need to. And and that's what makes the 49ers tough to beat is like, all right, even when they're playing bad, they still yeah. beat you. And they're gonna run into a bus all this weekend. Yeah. If you want to um, check out more of our NFL we, review of the divisional round, click here. And if you want to check out our preview for conference championships, click here. And if you want to see any more of our content, NFL college or anything sports related, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share.